Wonderful Wizard of Oz Once upon a time, there was a little girl named Dorothy. She lived in Kansas with her uncle, aunt, and her dog, Toto. Toto was Dorothy's best friend, and they played all day long. One day, as they played on the farm, Dorothy noticed the clouds getting dark. Wind began to blow harshly. A cyclone was heading towards them. Dorothy, hurry into the cellar now! Dorothy ran towards the cellar to follow her uncle and aunt inside, but Toto ran inside the house instead. Toto, no! Stop! Dorothy decided to get Toto and ran to enter the house. No, Dorothy. Come back now. I need to get Toto. I'll be back in a jiffy. Em, we don't have time for this. Get it now. I'll get Dorothy. But it was too late before Uncle Peter could enter the house. As soon as Dorothy reached Toto, the cyclone uprooted the house and spun it around in the wind. When it stopped, it was lying on the ground. Toto, are you alright? Where are we? It looks so different. As soon as they stepped out of the house, Dorothy knew they were no longer in Kansas. It all seemed brighter and greener than the home she knew. Suddenly, a witch appeared in front of them. Oh, don't be scared, dear. I am the Witch of the North. Who might you be? I'm Dorothy from Kansas, and this is Toto. Where are we? Welcome to the magical land of Oz. The Witch of the North then saw that Dorothy's house had landed on the Witch of the East. She was now dead. You killed the Witch of the East. What? I haven't hurt anyone ever. That's all right, dear. Your house landed on the terrible Witch of the East who made the people of Oz suffer every day. You've helped us all and freed us from the witch. Thank you. Please help me. I need to get to my uncle and aunt. Dorothy told the witch about the cyclone. I cannot help you, but the Wizard of Oz might be able to grant your wish. Follow the yellow brick road to the wizard's palace and take the shoes of the Witch of the East. These ruby shoes might come in handy. Thank you. Let's go, Toto. Dorothy and Toto began their journey. After a while, they saw a scarecrow who was being bitten by the birds. Help! Get me off this pole, please! Mr. Scarecrow, what happened? Dorothy helped the scarecrow get off the pole. Thank you. I wish my head was filled with a brain instead of straws. I could have come up with ideas to free myself. I'm going to meet the Wizard of Oz. You should come. Maybe he'll grant your wish too. And so they walked together to meet the wizard. Suddenly, Toto ran into the forest, leaving the yellow path. Toto, come back! They followed Toto into the forest and saw a tin man with an axe in his hand. He was rusted and unable to move. Dorothy decided to help him and applied oil to the mouth of Tin Man so he could talk. Can you talk now? Yes, thank you. What are you doing here? I was here to chop wood and take it home. I worked for several days and nights. One day my wife came looking for me, but I had no emotions for her. She left me here in the forest to rust in the rain. I can't move anymore. Dorothy and Scarecrow applied oil on the Tin Man's joints, and soon he was able to move. Thank you. I wish I could feel love for my wife so she could have me back. You should come with us to the Wizard's Palace. He might grant your wish. So, Tin Man also joined them on their journey. After a while, they heard someone sobbing behind a rock. When they looked to see who it was, they were surprised to see a lion. Hey, what happened? Why are you crying? A mouse bit my tail and I didn't have the courage to fight back. I wish I was brave. Oh, well we all want something and that's why we're going to meet the wizard. Come with us, he might grant your wish. The lion was hesitant but decided to join them on the path to the wizard's palace. They walked a distance when the yellow brick road suddenly ended. There was a river in between their path and no way to cross. We need to get to the other side of the river. How do we go? Oh no, I'm scared of water. I can't go. 
And I'll drown in the river. I can't go. I have an idea. We can build a raft using Tin Man's axe and then go across the river. So Tin Man chopped the wood and Scarecrow tied it together and they rowed the raft to the other side of the river. We made it. They began walking again and soon came across a poppy field. As soon as they entered, Dorothy felt her head spin and she fell to the ground. Dorothy, what happened? It's the poppy field. We must rush her to the other side. Tin Man picked Dorothy in his arms and ran through the field to the other side. Dorothy, wake up. Dorothy didn't move. Dorothy, please wake up. You're the only one who helped me. I don't want to lose you. Toto licked Dorothy's face and she slowly opened her eyes. Toto, stop. Why am I on the ground? Lion told her everything that happened. Dorothy thanked her friends and they continued their journey to the palace. As they walked, they found a big boulder in their path. Oh no! How do we climb such a big boulder? I'll slip right away if I try. It's going to take more than a day to climb. Everyone, hop onto my back. I'll run as fast as I can and jump onto that boulder. Tin Man, Scarecrow, Dorothy and Toto got onto the lion. Lion ran with all his might and leaped onto the boulder like it was just a small rock. Oh, Lion, you're so strong. We could have never done this without you. Thank you. That's right. Thank you, Lion. Thank you, Lion. You're welcome. They finally reached the end of the yellow brick path that led them to the doorstep of the palace. Here we are. The Topa wishes come true. A soldier summoned the visitors and led them to a big hall. There was the wizard waiting for them with a wand in his hand. Welcome to the palace of the Wizard of Oz. What brings you here? Oh, great wizard, I'm Dorothy, and these are my friends. Toto, Scarecrow, Tin Man, and Lion. We're all here so you can grant our wishes. Dorothy told the wizard everything about how she got to Oz and all that happened on their journey to the palace. Tell me what you wish for. I wish I could think and come up with ideas. I want a brain. But it was your idea to cross the river using a raft. You already have a brain of your own. I wish I could feel and have emotions. Tin Man, you cried for Dorothy when she fell in the poppy field and didn't move. You were afraid and sad. You do have emotions. I wish for courage. Oh, mighty one, you are courageous. Did you not leap on that boulder carrying all your friends? I wish I can go back to my home in Kansas. Dorothy, dear, look at the ruby shoes you're wearing. Don't they belong to the Witch of the East? It has magical powers. Just think where you want to go and tap the heels thrice. Dorothy was happy to hear that. She bid goodbye to her new friends. She then held Toto in her hands and thought hard about her home, her uncle and aunt. She tapped the heels thrice. Soon she was on the farm with her uncle and aunt. Dorothy never forgot her friends. She could use the ruby shoes and meet them any time. Scarecrow set up his own shop where he made rafts. Lion was more courageous than ever and became the king of the forest. Tin Man was back home and they all lived happily ever after.